Hey lovelies, it's your girl Rochelle. I'm back. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I love to talk all things budget, travel, and health. So if that's something you're interested in, then stay a while, pull up a chair, and get comfy. Let's get into today's video. But first, let's check on our feelings and our moods. I'm all about mental health. So if you guys are feeling good, leave a comment or an emoji in the comments below. I am feeling pretty good so far today despite this uh, stay at home order and I'm trying to stay busy. So how y'all doing? How y'all doing out there? Thank you to all those who have felt moved to subscribe to me also and welcome back to those already subscribed. In today's video, I will be sharing my April, sorry, my budget plan for the month of May. It is a new month. I cannot believe we're going into the month of May. So let's get started. Okay, I'm back. So let's get started. So my color scheme today that I just messed up by using a yellow sticker <laughs> is purple and blue. And I just want to say that it's the month of May. Then I want to get started just plugging these numbers in. So I will time lapse this and fill it all in okay I am all done filling it in now I just want to add everything up to make sure my math is right y'all saw me struggling at the bottom look at that <laughs> okay so let's see First things first, let's see here. Let's add up housing and make sure it's right. So 640 plus 186.03 plus $5,600. is not a typo, folks. We are saving all this month for home repairs. We really need our kitchen redone and so this is the month that we are going to save for it so the subtotal for this category category is six thousand four hundred twenty six dollars and three cents next up is uh transport so let's add that up and that's pretty easy 640 plus 20 is 660 And of course, this is a cash envelope. So I'll just remind myself there. We don't have to pay for insurance. This job pays for it all. And my parents pay for our car insurance, bless them. And next on the category is food. And I can just add that up. That's $720. You just got to make sure because, you know, I'm a little tired. <laughs> then for children, E just has homeschool for June that needs to come out early. So 1995 plus her allowance plus her gaming. And that gives that a subtotal of 69.94. Then federal taxes 200. And then personal care, we each get $215 per month. And we'll add on Dollar Shave, $440.45. And then let's see what else, what else? Um, oh, entertainment. 12.99 plus 40 plus 5.21 is 58.20 and then I'm going to move this up just a bit more um, loans 480 plus 700 plus 59.38 so we're still putting a good amount to, towards debt but the bulk of it is definitely going toward the house this month and then savings I really want to beef up my savings this month so 
So 485 instead of the usual 100 is going there. Then all these miscellaneous small things that add up. You see how I gave Amazon a line item? Because that was needed, honey. Hop on Amazon so quick and order stuff. I tell you what holds me up from ordering stuff as much as I used to is that huge delay now. They're like, oh, you want something? You'll get it in two months. I'm like, for real, y'all? Okay, so that's how the budget is looking. This is our planned amount of income, 10572 And this is how we will break everything down. Now, any other cash envelopes? Yes, gifts and tips, miscellaneous. And I actually, you know what? I messed up. Public transport is not a cash envelope because that's Uber. And Uber is all electronic, as you know. So that is not a cash envelope. But yeah, this is something I added. I've really been wanting to do the 52 week challenge and I just kept forgetting y'all. So we're gonna try and catch up before the year is over. I think I think we can do it. Okay, so let me add up all of these subtotals and make sure our numbers are right. My numbers are usually off. I'll warn you now. Oh my goodness, y'all, look. I just wish I could have had that in the frame. Everything equals up. So we will fill this out at the end of the month to see what our actual income was and our actual expenses. But this is right. Okay. So now I'll do a quick shot of my every dollar budget. So that way you can see how it looks on um, my electronic version of my budget. Okay, so thanks for watching so far. If you made it this far in the video, please let me know one uh, money move you plan to make in the month of May. Let me know down in the comments below and let's help keep each other motivated and inspired to knock debt out. If you are debt free, let's stay inspired to stay debt free. So now I'm using my everydollar.com budget and it is everything that I um, just plugged in on paper but I like to just go over it briefly just to make sure I didn't miss anything but my number is added up so I'm feeling pretty good about this off to the right you can see my breakdown of how much um, each category received so giving received two percent that's actually higher I don't always share the full amount of money that I um, bless others with and when I say I, I mean my family, we. So I just put a certain amount and the rest goes into probably the largest category. So it's somewhere hidden in here. But um, for all intents and purposes, the math on it is 2% showing. Savings is getting 5%. Housing is getting 55% because we are really trying to save. We want, we want to remodel our kitchen. And so I want to cash flow that if at all possible. So I'm going to save until I have enough money saved. And then we're, so we have temporarily put our debt snowball on hold. We usually throw any free money every month at debt. Um, but this for the next month or two, we're going to try and just save at least $10,000. So transport gets way less than 1%, just 20 bucks. Food is getting 7% of uh, lifestyle 6%, nothing for insurance, and 26% is still going towards debt. So this is the minimum payments plus one snowball payment that um, I am gonna make to my husband's credit card. So um, that's how it breaks down. And then I will just briefly scroll. You can see the giving category, savings. You can see where I added in the 52 week challenge. And I'm going to try and put $65 in it this month. Uh, there's my 360 savings category. I do have two separate savings. There should be an emergency fund and then there should be money you're always saving. Cell phone. 
I love seeing it start with the number one. Yes. All the money we're going to throw toward this kitchen. Transport, food. I did add an eating out category. And then personal. That's where we spend a good amount of money because we are at home. So I'm not canceling any of this stuff. It's keeping us from... <laughs> been um stir crazy and then nothing in insurance and everything else to debt so that is my budget for the month of may that's how we plan on spending our money to become one step closer to debt freedom and cash flow our large purchase our kitchen project so that's it for me thanks so much for watching till the end i really appreciate all the support it helps me stay motivated to keep bringing you guys more quality content. And um, I hope that you all stay safe. And I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Peace.